Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, friends of Japanese prints. And for this video, I welcome especially all friends of the art prints, the artworks by Paul Jacolet. But let me introduce first Ogman Dieter, Dieter von Schura, and I'm the owner of a little family company, and we are located in Germany, in the south of Germany, where it's more beautiful, in the state of Bavaria, near the Bavarian Alps. From my study, I can see the Bavarian Alps, yeah, but this is not the topic of this, this video. The topic is this famous prince and collectors of Japanese prints, especially collectors of Paul Jacoli, know it. It's the most famous print by Paul Jacoli and also the most expensive one. And in this video, I want to talk only uh, about this print because we want to sell it. And I have to tell you one thing. It's the most expensive print that we've ever offered in our weekly online auctions. And we've started our weekly online auctions of mostly Japanese prints in 2001. And we are now at the end of 2021. So our auctions are already 20 years old. A few weeks ago, we sold the second uh, most expensive print uh, from the works of Paul Jacolet, and this was the so-called Lady in Red. And we had offered it for a reserve of 5,000. And guess what happened? Well, it was um, hammered. Uh, the final price was $15,000. Uh, and I'll tell you the uh, minimum bid for the Paris lady, une Parisienne, it will be 20,000. And I think um, it's a reasonable uh, beginning um, for the bidding process. Um, where does this print come from and all the other Paul Jacolet that we've offered in recent auctions? and that we will continue to offer in the coming auctions uh, into 2022. Uh, uh, let's talk about the provenance. These prints come from the collection of a former US Navy pilot, Richard L. Sentner, and we call it the Richard L. Sentner Collection. Richard L. Sentner was a US Navy pilot during World War II. He took part in the Great Pacific War. Um, he uh, was stationed on the US aircraft carrier USA St. Lo. He took part in the Great Battle of Leyte, where the USS St. Lo was hit by, a, a kami, by one of the first kamikaze attacks. And at the end of the war, uh, Captain Sentner was stationed in Guam. However, he was frequently consigned to, uh, assigned to, to Japan. And Captain Sentner was interested in art, and there he got to know Paul Jacolet. And he began to build up a collection of the prints by Paul Jacolet, which he bought directly from the artists and more. The two men, they even became friends and also when they could not see themselves anymore. So in the early, um, in, the, in the 50s, they exchanged letters. And these letters, by the way, they are today in a mu museum in, in, in Paris, in the Musée du Cabroni Jacques Chirac. And um, the, a large part from this collection, so roughly two dozen prints, were consigned to us, uh, entrusted to, uh, to us uh, to be auctioned by the daughter of Captain, of Captain Richard L. Sentner. Well, so this is the provenance and the story. And um, in the coming Shin Hanga auction, it will start in Dece on December 5, 2021, it will run for one week until December 12. We will offer now this famous, most famous uh, print by Paul Jacolet. Well, this auction is certainly nothing for beginners. Yeah. Nevertheless, for those who've never heard about Paul Jacolet, uh, a few words. Um, he 
was born around the turn of the century um, in Paris. It's a little bit unclear precisely which year, around the turn of the century. And when he was still a small child, his mother um, moved with him uh, to Japan. And there he grew up, an educated, handsome young man. He was fluent in Japanese, in French, in, in, in English. And he's one of the leading uh, printmakers of the so-called Shin Hanga um, art movement. Paul Jacolet uh, did not leave Japan when the Pacific uh, War began with the attack on Pearl Harbor. Um, he moved to the countryside, somehow survived uh, these difficult um, war years. And yeah, that's the story how um, this, this collection and a few short words about Paul Jacolet. And uh, yeah, a few more words now about this print. There is uh, a famous catalogue raisonné. Well, for those who are not familiar uh, with this word, this is um, a documentation of all works of, a, of an artist. And for Paul Jacolet's um, art prints, uh, there is a, a catalogue raisonné, which was published as a book. And uh, the guy who documented all these works is Richard Miles. Yeah? Every collector of Paul Jacolet knows this and most probably has um, this book. And according to Richard L. Miles, the actual number of prints of copies which were pulled um, for this design from these woodblock prints were fewer than 75. That means this is now one copy out of a number of, according to Richard L. Miles, uh, fewer than 75 copies. The official edition size is 150, but also according to um, Miles, uh, Paul Jacolet, because he couldn't sell so well, um, always um, exaggerated with the official edition size and the actual number of copies pulled were usually distinctively lower. So 75 um, actually pulled or fewer than out of an official edition of 150. I already mentioned um, the minimum bid, so-called reserve, it will be 20,000. Again, the auction will start December 5, 2021, and will run over one week, and will end on Dece in December uh, 12. A last word, uh, this is certainly not an auction. Um, I mean, this print in this Shin Hanga auction is certainly not for a pure beginner. But if you're uh, an art collector, um, a collector of Japanese prints or fine art prints or fine art in general, and you want to take part in this auction, and you are not yet a regular client of our art auctions, there is a bidding limit, which is pretty much below the reserve for this print. Um, if you want to bid, um, and we don't know you yet, yeah, um, please register and then contact us by email. Uh, we have a procedure um, to clear you so that you can bid nevertheless. Okay, I, I think that's all. Well, then looking forward to this awesome Shinhanga auction starting December 5. And thanks for watching and please take care and have a good week.